All right, YouTube, what's popping with it, man? We got this crazy story. I married a monster. So I've been seeing it around. I want to say like little clips of it. And, you know, I'm like, all right, let's go watch the full thing and bring it to the channel. You know, I will usually do the pop the balloons or we talk about relationship stuff and just real life topics. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man, let's 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 get into the story and let's give our opinion. You know what I'm saying? Hit the like button, comment, subscribe if you're new here. If you've been here, you already know what's going on on me. You think? Hi, ladies. Hi, trophies. Um, welcome back to my channel. Or uh, welcome if you're new here. Um, if you hear my any noise in the background, that's um, the new baby. Um, a lot has happened since the last time that I recorded. I think the last time you guys saw me, I was in my second trimester. And um, yeah, I think I did post an update in the community section when the baby was born. Um, and I said that I would be back soon. Um, and that was a few months ago now. Um, I thought that when I came back on here that it would be to maybe do like some kind of newborn favorites or meet some, my new baby or something like that. Make but, some content. Um, unfortunately, um, it's been a little over a month since I um, had to end up leaving my husband. Um, I honestly don't even really know where to start with this. Um, just because it's just such a hard topic. And I honestly thought that by the time I got on here that I wouldn't have any tears left because I've just cried so much. Um, it's like I built this channel and this whole brand around being this man's wife and trying to teach other women how to attract good men and provider men and all these different things and um, I truly held my husband or saw him as the bar um, for what every woman should, you know, type of man that, or type of husband that every woman should aspire to have. And um, I didn't realize that the person I married was actually going to be my biggest nightmare. So basically, um, when I first met my husband, um, as I've already talked about in another video, um, I think it was my single mom video, I, I explained, you know, a little bit about how we met and, um, I really thought that that man was my Prince Charming. Um, um, so when I first met my husband, um, I thought that he was bit. my Prince Charming. I thought that he was my knight in shining armor and, you know, he portrayed himself to be this amazing, upright, righteous Christian man. Um, And I believed him. 
um, I think shortly after we got married, and this is something that I haven't talked about, um, I started noticing like certain things changed with him. And um, I just started to see a few things that I didn't like. But I honestly thought that some of these were things that I could get past. Um, he what? Why? He did that? Oh, man. So is that like, so it's like he just forced, he fits like, yeah, she wasn't with it. And he, because it's like, dang, I was the name my wife. He'd be like, what, what you mean by that? Like, but it's like, she wasn't with that. She wasn't, she wasn't, and you forced yourself. You forced it. She felt uncomfortable doing it. That's, that's something, that's something that's, that's something, dang, that's crazy. That's crazy. It was like sad to even say like I could get past some of these things. Um, I don't even know what, where to start. <sighs> um, Did they already have kids? Did they already have kids? I don't know if they already, cause it's like, y'all ain't had no kids, baby. I would've, you gotta leave. You gotta get rid of that man. You gotta. Anybody that, that that does something that, that you uncomfortable with, period. And they don't take you into consideration. Even if it's just something that's minute to making you, you know, go certain places you don't want to go. Let alone your privacy. Let alone breaking that. You know what I mean? And doing things they shouldn't be doing that he did to her. She put it right there on the right side of her, or the left side of her, or right side. That's distasteful. That ain't even good. That's not six that's weeks not it. ago. I was um, changing my daughter, my four year old daughter. And um, I noticed that um, when I changed her, she was red and very nah, sensitive. Nah, 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 nah. I don't even know if I can finish this, y'all. Nah, bro, you deserve the most, the worst, the worst, let alone a grown woman. A baby, bro? A baby? A baby? A four-year-old baby? Four years old? I noticed that... <sighs> red and very sen... I noticed that... Uh, my four-year-old daughter. Four years old, bro. And, um... I noticed that um, when I changed her, she was red and very sensitive. He was tired. Every time, man, I hope every time he pissed, it felt like throwing rocks coming out. You deserve pain to the fullest extent. He deserved pain to the fullest extent. I don't wish nothing but that you to a child, bro. A child? That's a child, bro. That's a baby. That's a four-year-old baby, bro. Like, what do you see? I don't get what these weirdos see. What do you see in an, in an innocent life? This innocent, beautiful, this, 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 this innocent life, four years old? What do you see? What, 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 what make you go on super soldier? What makes your soldier arise? What about a baby do that? You sick, nigga. You sick. This is it sick, bro. That's sick. That is sick. I don't understand it. That's... I don't and, want to um, understand. Immediately. My first thought was, did someone touch her? Oh, my goodness, man. Oh, God. Gosh. Um. So, I asked her, I said... Baby, did somebody touch you? And she ended up saying it was daddy. Man, what? I don't get your baby. This is your daughter, weirdo. You stinky. 
You was a weirdo. This is your daughter and you doing it to your daughter? This is your daughter. This is your blood. This is your baby, bro. This is your baby, bro. What kind of ill will intent do you have to have, bro? What do you see in your daughter? Your daughter? Nigga's stinky. He's funky, bro. His whole, everything about him is just stinky, bro. I felt like my world ended on that day. Man, that's, man, that's cold. That's cold, man. My husband wasn't home at the time when she told me, but I knew he would be coming home soon, so all I could do was just say, don't tell him that you told me. And I just instantly started trying to think of how I could get my kids out of the house. Because I knew if I confronted him or asked him about it, that he would just lie and that he would probably just continue to keep doing stuff to her, but just become more covert or more sneaky or, or whatever. As soon as my husband got home, I, he was actually picking up the boys from school, my two older boys from school. She don't got no family to come whoop on, bro? Like she don't got no peoples? She ain't got nobody to handle that? Like, lady, like you ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like. Probably didn't have no family though. That's the thing. That's unfortunate. Probably was by herself or something, and that's a scary situation. As soon as he got home, I told him that I was gonna go Halloween shopping with my sister um, my because sister. I just needed an excuse to get out of the house with all the kids. And I knew if I said something like, "Oh, I'm going to the grocery store," that um, it would be suspicious. Like, why am I bringing all the kids and like packing things like? things that we would need and things like that. So going Halloween shopping was the best thing I could think of to just hurry up and get the kids out of the house. I'm sorry, I had to get myself together. Um, so. She loves you like Deja Harris, T.I. daughter. When I got to the hospital, um, they basically told me that we had to go to another hospital because they didn't Beautiful. do physical exams like that kind of phys physical exam there. Um, so um, a police officer escorted um, the kids and I to another hospital where they were able to evaluate um, my daughters. Um, it ended up coming out that um, he had actually been um, touching both of my daughters Makes me mad. Like, what do you own, bro? Bible, well, you can't put nobody in here. Like, you can't, you ain't. But, bro, it's people like that. Like, where else do you go? Like, you gotta have some type of. Ain't no way, a baby, bro. All right, that is ridiculous. And your daughters, bro? Your kids, your own blood, bro? I can only, I can, I don't even want to imagine the, the, what's going in them, through the baby's mind while this grown man is doing that. You weirdo. You, you was a weirdo. You stink. Everybody in your family stink for even having you around. Yo, everybody in your, every, your mama stink. Because you came out of her. She stink. Forgive me, bro. Or forget. Or for, I got to get back. He's a weirdo. His mama probably a cool, probably done. He's a wee stink, bro. Everything about him, bro. That's weird, bro. Um, who are only two and four years old. <sighs> um. I feel she probably ain't, she ain't said nothing. And I speeded it up. I put the playback time on fa faster. This is normal. She ain't said nothing for a minute. That be real. She, she filming a video, can't even talk, man. 
I'm telling you, bro. But like, and it's not even a, I don't know her situation, nor do I know her, but she says she made content about how to be a trophy wife and telling people how to get a man of high value. Let me tell you something. She said his, her husband, she felt he was the bar. This is why you have to seek God. This is why I tell y'all. This is why even in my reactions, I'm not, uh, I pray that she healed, bro. There's no way that, that she has, to, that's some healing that has to go on. Her kids traumatized. It's things, man. You know what I mean? This is the thing, man. Not to think about it. Wait, wait hold on. She, she, they said he had, they had two boys. Let's, they had some. Did she, did she say something about the. That pause. It still I, feels like a dream. Like, um. When. When this first happened, I just kept waking up every day and just hoping that this was a dream. Um, because it's literally my worst nightmare. It's my worst nightmare. I myself am a product of R.A.P.E. Um, that's how I came to be. Ooh. And um, was also, you know, mm. abused as a child oh, uh, by a neighbor's husband. So it's like generations. She said that's how she came to be. So her mom had an encounter, got pregnant, had that, that had that unfortunate encounter that was out of her control, got pregnant. She came to be. She also had that unfortunate encounter. Then her kids had the unfortunate encounter. I don't know if it was penetrated or the hand or whatever it was. It's just, bro, that is crazy to me, man. That's not good. That's not okay. And a lot of the times it don't be, it's, it's, it's never the woman's fault, bro. That's a sick thing a nigga could do. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say. You force any... That's weird, bro. <laughs> it's never the woman's fault. I don't know. You, you can't even blame her for that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's... that's and then your own husband. This is somebody that you have covenant with. This is somebody that's... But, man, this is what... And, um... I specifically prayed to God that my children would never, ever, ever have to go through this. And I'm just not quite sure how this happened, why this happened. He a weirdo. That's what it is. He's a weirdo. I just don't know how he was able to get away with it and so sneaky because with my own trauma I watch my kids I watch my kids like a hawk like I don't like them sitting on people's laps none of that and he knows he knows how much I cannot stand men like him and to think like I couldn't even go to sleep in my own house and know that my children are safe. All the trauma she went through, he literally did it all over again. It's crazy. Just by me going to sleep, my children were left unprotected. Mm. <sighs> um... So I don't know what the future of this channel is going to be. Um, uh, I don't know if I'm going to change the name or what. Um, yeah. Understandable. Uh, I have them pause. I get it. I, and I know them pause is extra, extra length. Like, you feel me? There were prolonged pauses, you could tell, because I sped it up. And it was just like she, you feel what I mean? And it's understandable. That's traumatizing. And then she relived it all over again through her children. Her children. So it's like, you know what I mean, man? This is why I always say, man, go seek God for who you be spending time with. Go seek God, man. A few of y'all be glad. Oh, yeah, you too. You don't know what you. All right, man. Everything that glitter ain't gold. Said he's a high value man of trophy wife, meaning she getting, you know, 
up. They got bread. They doing their thing. Look like her house is amazing wherever she at right now. You know what I'm saying? She said she was teaching people how to get the man of their dreams. So that means that's the spending money, having money, being able to do these things whenever you want, however you want, having the glitz and glamour. But she going home to a weirdo, to a weirdo who do things that she don't even agree with. I just pray for that lady's spirit, man. I pray that, man, that, that God, man, comfort her heart, comfort her, comfort the kids and everything. Because that's something I've, I've never been through that. I know people who have been through it. You feel what I'm saying? And you can never, ever speak on something and, 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 and feel for them. Be like, I'll feel you. No, you don't. You've never been through it. So I don't even. It's traumatizing to them. That's why, man, I just pray that she be all right, man. That's why, I mean, y'all seek God, man. You'll seek God, man. Because if you don't, man, a lot of things can happen. A lot of things can happen. That's why I'm not even really forcing relationships. Man, I ain't been with a woman. It ain't that I can't. I could get a woman right now. But I'm cool, man. You get with somebody and, and they doing things to harm. And, and just, man, I pray for that woman, man. Nobody should have to experience that. And the fact that she was a product of it. And he know, he knew that was traumatic for her. He knew that. He, she just said, oh, yeah, he knows that, how I feel about men like him. And he did it to her all over again. Included the kids as well. Man, y'all, seek, seek God, man. And that's not even to say that she wasn't. I'm just saying, man, a lot of the times you... Ah, oh, you gotta, man, you gotta really know that you know, man. Cause that ain't, that ain't cool, man. But y'all like, you know, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what y'all feel about it. What is y'all opinion on it? That's something that's crazy to me. Oh, man. Hmm.